Welcome back to the channel everybody Today I have these parts completely removed out of a Detroit DD15 engine um, I think you can clearly see something going on here Thing is this part over here thing is completely broken This is the bell housing This is where the transmission is mounted and uh, you probably wonder what happened here so what happened is that the transmission fell off the bell housing uh, the transmission came completely open it opened from the top because you know gravity is going to push the way to the bottom so it opened from the uh, top and it bent breaking this one over here so basically the transmission fell uh, we have here the input shaft of the transmission see how this input shaft looks like this input shaft was completely damaged it is completely destroyed you can clearly see because the transmission when it fell it was actually applying pressure just on the input shaft it was the only thing holding it um, and uh, there was nothing else Oh, everything was completely loose over here that's the reason why these two over here the, the ones that were making the maximum amount of pressure they broke so engine was still running when this happened that's the reason why this got all destroyed and here we have the clutch see how this clutch looks like this is the plate right in terminal the plate and these teeth are completely destroyed and broken see all this is broken inside there you can see some broken pieces too because the clutch got completely destroyed completely destroyed this clutch is not an old clutch because this is the newer style of clutch then Eton's clutch are coming so this clutch is not even that old but it got destroyed because of the same problem this is the other plate over here this is the plate that goes in front over here it makes contact directly with the uh, with the flywheel but this one looks fine you can see there is no damage on this one it is a little bit of damage over here because this one was over uh, making some friction over here like this when this one fell that's the reason why this one didn't damage that much uh, so you probably wonder what was the cause of this problem and um, that is what I'm going to show you right now the cause of the problem on this bell housing what actually caused the transmission fail that is a problem that can affect anybody at any time or simply it can be a defect for that we know we have to know that the transmission is mounted in the bell housing right here by all these bolts over here see all these bolts then go around there are the ones holding the transmission besides all these bolts there is nothing else holding the transmission or either the bolts were loose of the thread was destroyed probably the thread sometimes when people try to uh, tie the bolts they don't tie them properly and the thread gets destroyed and and that is the most uh, common cause of this problem sometimes if they leave bolts that are loose probably that can happen but it's mostly when the thread is destroyed so for that we're gonna be using a transmission bolt this is a transmission bolt to find out the real cause of the problem what happened to this bell housing so that's what we're gonna find out so we can clearly see over here if you get closer in this angle there you can see the bottom of the thread that is going to be uh, you can clearly see that it's completely damaged so uh let's check the other one over here this one see it looks damaged too and there is the other one over here in the same way it looks damaged so that's why we're gonna use this pole to see why this transmission fell off 
the transmission wearing, I mean the bolts, the transmission, the bolts that were held in the transmission weren't here. The only two bolts were these two. That's where the housing broke. So these other bolts, they fell somewhere or uh, somehow. So we are going to install the bolt and see if it goes in by itself all the way in. See, and then I want to push it. That is not good. You hear that, right? See, the ball goes itself inside the housing. See? That is not good at all. That means then this housing, the thread inside the housing, got damaged. And that is the reason why this transmission failed. So someone forced the ball in or someone tight the ball way too much and that's the reason why the aluminum housing got destroyed because this is aluminum it's not even steel so let's try the other one this is the other one the same way this one holds it see but if i move it it goes in so the thread has a lot of play see it gets tied over here so that means then it's damaged. So this one is damaged, but not as bad as this one. This one is more. See? But it still goes inside. So this other one, this one is a little better. See? The thread holes. That's the way it gotta be. See? It doesn't play that much, and it holds good. And if I push it, see, it doesn't go in. That is the way it's supposed to be. This one still holds a little, but I can see then there is a damage on the thread. See, it doesn't go more than this, it gets tied. That means that there is a damage too. And we have this other one over here. This one is completely damaged, see? That is not good at all, see? That one is not good. We have this other one. This one, this one is damaged, so no, this one is fine. This one goes in pretty easy. And let's see this one, it's fine, it's fine. So, the way it looks, it looks like <laughs> The threads were overdone. That's the way it looks. It looks fine when I thread it in, like as, as this one. It looks like it goes in normally, but I can see the threading is damaged on all of this. This one is fine. This one is not good. This one goes in. This one, this one is fine. This one is damaged. This one is damaged. This one is damaged, and that one is damaged. So clearly, the reason why this happened is because someone tied these bolts in an improper way, damaging the threads of the housing and making this problem a big problem. The only way to repair this problem, well, there is two ways to repair this problem. But in this case, because the housing is broken, there is no thing else to do but just replacing the housing. But if your housing is still in a good condition, for example, if the transmission fails and the housing is not broken anywhere, you can redo the thread. But I won't recommend to do that. It's better to replace the housing. But if you replace the housing, it's going to be super expensive. So it is up to you. That will be the best solution, replacing the housing. And in this case, replacing the transmission, I mean, replacing the, the clutch and replacing the input shaft of the transmissions will be, uh, are going to be the solution because it the, the got completely damaged. So, um, clearly, by looking at this truck, right, this uh, uh, piece of this engine, we know that someone did a job and someone didn't pay attention or someone didn't care about doing a job like this, causing a major damage to the engine, which was very dangerous over the road because something else could happen. Luckily, nothing else happened, just the uh, truck stopped. That was the whole uh, thing that happened to the 
to the to the truck. I mean, the truck is, uh, stopped running because uh, this wasn't connecting properly, and that was it. That was the the reason, uh, the whole reason why the the problem didn't go more than that because of the clutch. The clutch was holding the transmission in place, but um, that was the real cause of the problem. And I can see this bolt, this orifice over here. See these ones, this over here are for the uh, the mounting brackets of the of the engine so these parts over here are going to be for the rear mounts for of the engine and i can see the thread is damaged on these two they're all damaged so that that that, that is not good at all because uh, someone then did a job didn't pay attention didn't do it well and uh that is not good so be sure that whenever you are doing a job don't try to ship out and look for a ship um, labor because this could happen to you if someone is charging you ship to a job probably this could happen to you and uh and it's going to be super expensive later um yeah, that's something that you have to be very careful but up to right now i think this is all i have to add to the video um i guess uh, my point was very clear about what was the reason why this one broke and what could be the reasons why this one can break and um the ways to prevent it is going to be just to do a right a proper job don't do um, a ship job or a no proper job so all the ways to prevent this problem is to do a proper job and that will be it if i didn't um, explain something properly make sure be sure to use the uh, comment section where you can leave comments opinions uh, recommendations and anything else about this problem if this problem happened to you be sure to uh, comment below uh, that way uh, we can learn from you so what was the reason of your problem or uh, how you solved your problem to that would be helpful for many people that are watching these videos um, if you want to send support to my channel check the description of the video I have details how to send support to my channel so i can continue creating be helpful videos like this one for all of you as always be sure to subscribe to the channel share the video and thank you for watching